So third video in a single day, live from the wheelhouse. <laughs> Let's talk about it, baby. And this this is gonna be a little different, Andrew. I, I was in my I was in my thoughtful, you know, deep thought type bag with the hockey guy video. I want to talk about I want to talk about the Berkshire video, kind of putting down Zach Hyman. It's gonna be a short video, short and sweet. Absolute clown take. Absolute clown take. Listen, I get it, man. Hockey is an expensive sport. I played it growing up. My parents, you know, my dad worked his ass off. He was captain for years. Worked, it worked his ass off, and he, he when he'd get off the boats, he would go, you know, work CDL truck, truck driving. My, my father is the role model I want to be in life, and he allowed me, or sorry, he's the role model for what I want to be as a person in life, hardworking and dedicated. He helped, he helped me play hockey from the age of two into, into college. And the sport of hockey is great. Is there a barrier due to that expense? Absolutely. And what can they do? They should try to, if they can, make some of the equipment a little bit less expensive. Now, you can go to like a second time around or a used, you know, used hockey year and get stuff that sense. But I understand, like, to the point that... Yes, hockey is an expensive sport, but to just say Zach Hyman's successful because of, you know, mommy and daddy's money is, is ridiculous. The guy put the freaking work in. I, I don't I, listen. I made a video on Zach Hyman about a few weeks ago, I think, at this point, Talk, like just talking about how phenomenal he's been, how people are kind of trying to downplay his success. And Joel, well, he's playing with McDavid. Does he benefit from that? Absolutely. When you play with superstars, you definitely benefit. But Zach Hyman's got really good skill set as well. Would he be a 50-goal scorer without, with, without McDavid? Most likely not, but he's at least a mid-20s type goal scorer, possibly a 30-goal scorer. Hyman is a productive player. He has transformed himself into being a top-six player. And, and just to kind of belittle what he's done and try to make it seem like the only reason he's successful is mommy and daddy. Like, that is the biggest clown take ever. That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Because for, for that, then, why is not every single rich kid that's played hockey in the NHL then? I have known kids I played hockey with that came from huge wealthy families. And they didn't go to the NHL. It's about hard work, it's about dedication. And it's just to downplay it. Like, oh, it's, he's just successful because he's wealthy. I'm like, you're an idiot. Absolute freaking idiot. Does hockey have a problem with how expensive the sport is? Yes, I've talked about that for years in private and in public. They, they need to figure out a way that these equipment companies, just, just call it what it is, they're a business, so they want to make a profit. But still make a profit, but lessen the amount of money you have to spend to play the sport. It's, it's ridiculously expensive. Outside the equipment, there's the ice time. Um, you know, if you want to go to special camps and training and stuff like that, like you, you spend a ton of money for kids until they're up until they're 18, even in college, if your parents help you out then too, you spend like tens and tens of thousands of dollars on equipment. It's an expensive sport. And for that reason, honestly, hockey will always have that barrier. I get that point And I agree. You need to try to make the game more accessible, but to, to discredit what Hyman has done. Going from like, you know, a solid player in college, not like not a world beater by any stretch of the imagination. When he when he came into the pros, nobody saw this from him. Nobody saw like a top six guy, a guy that would eventually score 50. The guy has worked his butt off and he's improved his game. Can we just give give him credit regardless of where it's come from? And I know it's a different sport. Johnny Manziel came from wealth, and what did he do? Side of snort lines, and it seems like he's good in a good spot now. But it, it just—I don't know. Just I get it. He, he's from a very lucky position. He was born in a very good spot, very privileged in that sense. I understand that. But to discredit the hard work he's in, and discredit him as a player, because 
oh, well, mommy and daddy had him have a league. And, well, mommy, like, well, jackass, still had to put the work in. He still go, went, goes to the gym, still improves the skating, still went further than you or I did in hockey. I don't know, maybe show some appreciation. I just, probably not usually the type of video I'm going to upload to this channel, but that, that shit just, really? This is what we're doing now? We're just going to go through everyone. So if we're going to have that, then every single player that came from, like has an NHL father, are we going to have that same conversation? Or is it just Zach Hyman because of his background? If we want to get real, real, if we want to get real, we can get real, real quick. Just ridiculous. Guy fucking went from being like a, a projected, like bottom six guy at best into a 50 goal scorer. And we're trying to discredit him. For what reason? Absolute clown reporting. Couldn't expect anything better from that guy like that, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below if you if you thought that was ridiculous. As I, if you, if you think that take was ridiculous, let me know down below. If you think that sound, I, I don't know what to tell you.